Welcome. How you doing? Hello. Hi. Hello, hello. How's it going? Feeling good. All right. So uh, let's get into this. Uh, fantastic trailer. This is a different kind of Frankenstein story than we've seen before. So maybe let's start with you, Paul, and talk about what the relationship is between Victor and Igor and, and why the story is different. Um, the relationship between Victor and Igor is, uh, we find Igor at the beginning of the movie, and he's all hunchback and what you'd expect Igor to be. But then you kind of see that he's got this passion for anatomy and science and, and all those good things. And then he meets up with Victor Frankenstein, who also sees that in him. And t t together, they, they work together to build what is a prototype, and then it becomes monster and all that stuff and it's all about science it's about this passion that they have for it and also it's a it's it's, it's a love story between these these two men really and yeah. and i mean that in a very that sort of idea? positive beautiful thing and yeah. um and the, yeah it's a love story between these two guys who who need who need each other in fact victor needs igor probably more than then ego needs for a picture in his life. And it's really about c creating, it's actually about g giving the name Frankenstein back to the scientist, but back to Victor Frankenstein. Yeah. And because everyone always thinks it's the monster and all that stuff. So <laughs> it's, that, that was great. You know, that was a really good challenge to have. You know? Every time the, uh, somebody says to me, what are you doing at the moment? I say, I'm doing this film, Frankenstein. They say, who are you playing? I say, I'm playing Frankenstein. They're like, you're kind of short to be playing the monster. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, no, no, it's the doctor. So yeah, you're right. We're giving the name back to Dr. Vic. Yeah, it, 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 people always get that wrong. And people are like, no, it's Frankenstein's like monster. It's mm. Frankenstein. By the way, I just want to point out, you have probably the greatest hat I've ever seen in my life, which is, it says, it's Frankie goes to Hollywood, but it's Frankenstein's monster, and Frankenstein's monster is saying, relax. And they were, uh, yeah. on That's, there. Those were hats. They're on sale in the foyer. We, had, well, we had them made up, but uh, well, thank you, John. Well, thank you. <laughs> we had yeah. them made up for the crew at the end. That eh? was our end of, end of uh, picture gift for all the crew. We've got a really cool hat that you might actually wear outside. Because normally the stuff you get on Dobbs, you'd never wear out. You know, whereas this is actually quite a cool hat. Yeah, well, so uh -huh. let's talk about the relationship of, of Igor and Victor, because I, I, from what I'm to understand, I haven't seen the movie. I mean, they wouldn't show it to me. I asked, and they said no. Uh, uh, you have to wait. <laughs> um, but it, it, it seems like that Igor is more of an intellectual equal to Victor yeah. in this story rather than just like a, a grumbly sidekick. Yes, I mean, the, at the beginning of the story, as, as Paul mentioned, Igor is kind of um, being kept and living in abject sort of conditions where he's treated almost as, as being sort of um, subhuman. And then um, Victor finds me in these conditions and sort of lifts me out of that. And to me, the, the, that sets up a very interesting dynamic in their relationship, which is that my life has essentially been saved and made possible by this man. And then as we embark on this journey together and he starts losing his goddamn mind, I'm like trying to like pull him back from the edge of insanity. And it's that thing of how do you, how do you stand up to and, and, and tell somebody they're wrong when, they've, when they have given you everything. And it's, it's the, so the imbalance in that relationship is, and the tension that results from that is kind of what makes it um, interesting. And, and ultimately you're behaving so badly yeah. that I am, I'm the only person who sees you, know, you when you are at your most charming, charismatic, yeah. so I can, I, I'm the only one who would have any uh, desire to save you. Yeah, I, mean, the, I think the movie's fueled by the fact, not just about creating the monster and all that, but also these two guys are together who have such a good time together, and as an audience, I think you want them to be together. It's exciting, they get into all these adventures and all these scrapes. That's half the time. The other half the time is a movie where if you've ever wanted to see Daniel Radcliffe utterly abused and beaten up <laughs> and hurt told you his love story. and embarrassed <laughs> and just manipulated yeah. by me, then that's your movie. That's a lot. This and is a movie for you. <laughs> so half the time the audience are like, oh, these guys are great together. And the other half the time they're going, please, Daniel, run away now. We well, yeah, somebody outside, somebody... Get some, out of this movie. Somebody said to me outside, this is a really violent movie, right? And I was like, no, not, not particularly. And they were like, no, 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 but to you. And I was like, oh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I forget. But yeah, yeah, like we had, like, I get thrown around a lot. But it's good, I bounce. I mean, when... <laughs> yeah. yeah, he does. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Tumblr just imploded. Uh... <laughs> uh, when, you fir when they first approached you about potentially playing Igor, were you like, are you, what? Are you serious? Or... No, not at all. I was like, okay, cool. Tell me more. That sounds great. Um... Yeah, I mean, and, and as soon as, uh, you know, I read the script, it became apparent that this was a very different Igor and, and somebody who does have a very rich intellectual uh, life and, and is, you know, 
if not the, the academic equal of Victor, certainly has like, it's a very equal partnership in terms of what they're creating and his sort of, I, my skills kind of fill in the gaps of, of his, um, you know, uh, lesser abilities. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, but there was no like, I know, sorry, what am I saying? Lesser <laughs> abilities. Lesser abilities. <laughs> um, well, I, I, I supplement you. Um, you do what to me? <laughs> <laughs> Darling, I, know, I didn't even buy him dinner, but he was coming at me. Um, I was like, listen, man, you want to put it there, go for it, but I'm... Well, no hands. Yeah, no Tumblr's hands. dead, Tumblr's dead. <laughs> um, Tumblr's dead, <laughs> and, and a thousand slash fix were born. <laughs> there's, there's I a just pointed here, out. There's a sign here that's got our names on it. It says, it says welcome to Comic-Con. Please be aware that many members of your audience may be under 18 years of age. We didn't Sorry, say man. anything I out of line. Like, anyway, yeah. not, um, not for everywhere. For some actors, that's a little more of a warning. Like, don't flirt, you know? Like, it's a little <laughs> more... <laughs> <laughs> be careful! <laughs> I know Comic-Con sounds like a party, but ask for ID. It's worth it. Uh, <laughs> oh, I mean, oh, dear. James, how, how, do you, does, does, does Victor see Igor as his equal? Does he, does he recognize that in the story? I think, like Liam Neeson in the film Taken, uh, Victor recognizes that he has a very particular set of skills. Yeah. <laughs> and... Um, and he decides that he can use them and use him. But in doing that and manipulating him and totally abusing him and taking advantage of him, he actually comes to love him and, and care for him and love being with him. And, and he's excited by the prospect of somebody who is in some ways his equal. Um, but his ego is such. And that his, his passion and his obsession, which is the thing that we share with Mary Shelley's original book, is obsession. Not just about monsters and all that, but obsession with scientific advancement. That ego and that obsession with advancing science and doing something that he needs to do to fix himself is really, really, uh, it sort of gets, it gets in the way of him loving him and seeing him as his equal. And that's when he gets abusive. Every time that he says, no, I don't think this is a good idea, you all but get your head ripped off. Do you know what I mean? Uh -huh. So it's like, he's kind of, he, he's a kind of two sides of the same coin, you know? And what is, it that, that what is it that you think they're trying to accomplish in this story together? Trying to build a big monster, man. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to build oh, yeah. monsters and be a good Christian. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> oh God. You know what I'm saying? She's right. You just got to love America and uh, build monsters and shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's all I, about, man. I absolutely oh, love God. it. <laughs> when? Uh, uh, what are we trying to do? What are we trying to do? Well, the thing, I think in Mary Shelley's original, for me, there was something missing. There was a, and that's, I know that's sacrilege to say to a lot of people and all that kind of stuff. It's an amazing book, a very important book. But for me, Victor was obsessed and crazy just because he was. I didn't really see a reason, whereas this story and what Max did and what you did and what we've done together is give him a reason for being so yeah. bloody crazy mm. uh, and then not cure him, cure him of that halfway through. In the book, he kind of just like goes, I'll go for a vacation for 18 months in, a, in the woods and then I come back and I'm kind of, I'm, yeah, I'm sorted. Now we need to kill the monster. Whereas in this, we keep him mad all the way to the end. And, um, and I think that's truer to his trauma and his backstory and who he is and you more fun. Because mental people are fun. You mentioned Max, and I assume you're referring to Max Landis, yeah. uh, yes. who wrote that. Who Max is such a brilliant mind for coming at a story from an angle that yeah. you yeah. can't. Yeah. And and it and he just he says it like you go, I'm gonna go to Starbucks. He'll just be like, Oh, what about this? And you're like, Damn, yo, Landis. <laughs> He's such he has such a brilliant mind, and it's such an interesting way of storytelling. Is that was that what attracted you oh, to direct? Definitely. I mean, Max is kind of extraordinary, isn't he? He's a little bit of a you know, he's just this extraordinary mind. What, what he did is he basically, he cherry-picked all the good ideas from, from the, the movie, from the book itself. And he's created his own monster, you know, within mm -hmm. that. So he's made, he's made this script which has Igor in it, which is, of course Igor was never in the book. And it has, it has the, these other little monsters that have never been in the film. So, you know what I mean? So he's, he's kind of, he creates, he is his own mad yep. Frankenstein himself, yeah. you know. And I think um, he also is just like, it's unashamedly entertaining and like yes, all the way through yeah. as well. It's like exciting. It's never just enough for it to be like, oh, are you watching these two guys? Like the story's always, yeah. before, but there's like an energy behind it, which I, I think is, is yeah. from him. Like that's, yeah. yeah, I mean, there was never one scene in this movie where I just goes, right, I've got an easy day to do. <laughs> no. You know, it's just two guys talking. 
Not this the way we did it, anyway. No, it every amazing. single time we had a scene, we'd be like, how physical and violent can we make this? <laughs> I know. How dangerous can we make this to each other? Come on, man. Yeah, and we're quite good. similar in like energy yeah, levels and much. in terms of physical ability. So we just kind of go at it with each other like every day, yeah. 12 hours a day. And then we filmed. No <laughs> knee pads. <laughs> yeah. You just, oh. we're like, <laughs> I feel like he's doing it on purpose, but I don't know if he's doing it on purpose. That's, 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 yeah, that's how it is. <laughs> I'm just, I am a walking penis joke. I just, that's all I am, man. <laughs> Always ready to happen, yeah. yeah. But there, yeah. Are, there are some, there's like one scene we made, like, but like, I mean, subtly homoerotic, one? the one where you're like... Yeah, the first scene we shot. The first scene we shot together, which yeah, involves a lot of being thrown around. Oh, do you want to act it out, or do you just want to talk uh, about it? Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. The, the, this is this is the enduring image that I'll take away from the first day of the shoot, right? Wait, are you what are you doing? Are you Oh god, we're not doing this. We're not doing this in front of a thousand people. We just went. There was a lot of a very I really did have a moment then of like, oh, he's joking, he's joking, he's not really, oh no, we are doing this. Okay, we are, yeah. we are, we are showing yeah. the, the scene where he pressed me up against the pillar. I was wearing full protection, it was all good. <laughs> there was one, there was one, like that was a scene where I like, I came out of the, because we, like, we wanted to make this film like a dark movie. And, oh, like, is that? And it's dark and it's funny, and it, but it's like, you know, we, we didn't want, we, you know, we wanted it to, to be like, you know, to push things. And there was definitely that, Clearly. Moment, that first. Yep. <laughs> that, <laughs> That first so, moment. I didn't do that one. <laughs> I didn't, what? That, We're just this, talking. This. That first moment when James like, uh, is like breaking my back essentially and like trying to rem remove. There's no way of saying this. It's all becoming innuendo. I was about to say removing my hump. I mean, I don't know. Like, there's, there's no way of getting out of this. No, um, so when we- no, that, but whether, Listen, whether you're building a monster or making love, it's all the same. It's, it doesn't matter. Um, and so, yeah, but that, that was the first scene that I remember. I remember like, walking off set after that and seeing like, a couple of the producers looking genuinely terrified <laughs> yeah. of what they were making in there.